Okay, so who has power in the Bay Area? Roberta. And? <laughs> <laughs> and who else? Uh, well, if power means getting what you want, when you want it, you might be surprised at who rates. Mike Sugarman. What about the Bay? <laughs> to get the goods on a guy who always gets the lot, goods. There's a lot Sugar. in a comma there, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> Mike is. Sugarman. Yeah. Not the answer to that question. By the way, April, I want to thank you for grooming me earlier, which you don't see on ca off camera. You look good. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. He is the man with an all-access pass to the Bay Area because that's his job. Are you looking for someone who can get things for you right now? No matter how hard they might be to get, I think we found your guy. Who's got juice in the Bay Area? Willie Brown eats where he wants. Barry Bonds gets tickets to sold-out shows. But the guy with possibly the most juice you've never heard of. Hi, Mr. Campbell. I'll get right back to you. Hi. Hi. Mr. Ostry? Yeah, hi, it's Eric from the Argent Hotel. You talk juice, you're talking Eric Edfield. Credit card, bada bing, bada boom, the tickets are here at the desk. A San Francisco hotel concierge knows what you need to know to get what you want. And Eric, among the best of the best. I'm actually the recipient of the uh, 2002 Rising Star Award that's given from Wear Magazine for the concierge community. San Francisco concierges just voted Eric, chief concierge of the Argent Hotel, one of the go-to guys. Any concierge that's worth his weight has a good Rolodex in his mind or electronically or even in paper. Um, I have it in many different forms where I keep it that uh, has a list of people that will always say yes to me. One of my inside scoops is my black book with the inside cell phone numbers of some of the biggest names in town, which I'm not going to show you all. I've got a uh, good line of some tickets, section 18. They're right on the 50-yard line. Sometimes it takes knowing the right people. Sometimes what it takes is cash. We had a family flying from Hawaii with no reservations for anything, and they said, here's our credit card. We want the best seats for everything. They went to the World Series. They were $1,500 a seat for the games. Left a nice tip. $900. Matt, I was just calling you. We live in what we call concierge land. And that's kind of a fake world because we get to go to the premieres, we ride around limos, we uh, uh, eat at great restaurants. We never could afford it if we had to pay retail. Joan Rivers appreciated the Eric touch. Richard Simmons had no complaints. Martha Stewart, well, Martha Stewart. It was rumored she was not happy with the flower arrangement in her room. And we, uh, we were quite upset with that. Not that there's much time to think about it. This is Eric. Thanks for holding. How much are they going for a pair? 18th birthday and a limo, too? There are too many limos to rent and show tickets to snag and special tours of MoMA to arrange to worry too much about something like that. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Simon for Eric. Well, a guy uh, wanted to propose to his fiance on the Golden Gate Bridge with a mariachi band. Kind of tough in these days after 9-11. He did it. It's don't ask how. You know, the best part of the story for me is I learned how to spell concierge, oh, which is a great Scrabble good. word. It is. If you had nine tiles. I love it. <laughs> Living in concierge world. Yeah, it's a place. Doesn't look like a bad place to visit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. He's got a wonderfully wicked sense of humor, yes, too, he does. doesn't he? He does. <laughs>